typical of a city. They provide management services that include administration, finance, city clerk, legal services, uh, equipment management. Uh, as I mentioned, the city would be responsible for police protection, which again we've assumed would be provided through a contract with the sheriff. There may be other options, uh, certainly over the longer term. The new city could consider forming its own department. In our review of city budgets, we believe that forming its own department would be a more costly option, especially with the initial startup costs. And in any event, it's unlikely that that could occur within the first few years of, of the new city's existence. The city would also provide community development services, planning services, zoning, building inspection, redevelopment. <coughs> There would be a public works department that would handle street maintenance, landscape maintenance, and related services. Local transit services, <coughs> similar to what are currently available. Also library service. Although it's expected that the county would continue to own and operate <laughs> existing libraries within the area, the new city would be responsible for augmenting revenues that the library system currently receives from property taxes and assessments. This is currently done by the county through use of its utility users tax to help fund libraries for the amount needed over and above <coughs> property taxes. And it's also typical of other cities that have libraries operated by the county. So that, that would be another expenditure that actually uh, we'll be revising the report to reflect that more thoroughly. Uh, the city would be responsible for garbage collection. Also, we've included uh, some amounts in the budget for uh, some consumer affairs uh, services currently provided by the county, essentially a consumer advocate 